going down. Yeah. Oh, said this would be an in and out job. Now Spider-Man's here. Whatever. Take him out. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. He's up here. Yeah. Tell your boss, don't go messing with my neighborhood. Hold them here. Meet at the rendezvous point in now. Not today. those trucks uh, gotta pick one for now give it up guys you're not getting away Funky drummer. They only recovered items from one truck? What a mess. Sorry, Angela. This is a deal breaker. There goes our best hope for a big donor. There's still the fundraising gala. If we don't find that second truck, there is no exhibit. Without an exhibit, there is no gala. Without a gala, the museum will have to close. That won't happen. I promise. Here. Belonged to Clyde Stubblefield. Ooh! The original funky drummer. <laughs> Do you know how often his rhythms were sampled? <gasps> he was so influential. A direct line from funk to hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry, I'll find the rest of those items. Thank you. Should check in with Pete. Hey, bro, you have a sec? Of course. Uh, actually, uh, Harry's calling. Uh, I have to take this. Catch up later? Oh, uh, sure, man. Later. Hey, Pete. I'm at EMF. No sign of Doc Connors yet, but I could use an extra set of eyes. On my way. Have you heard anything from MJ? You said she's stopping by his house, right? Nothing yet. She told me she'd call when she got there. Let's hope he's just taking a sick day. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna check her office. Just come by when you can.
joyriding? You're not allowed to drive joyfully in New York! I can't write speeding tickets. You hunters would be broke. Crystal. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco put Sandman to rest years ago, and Craven woke a sleeping giant. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. All right, folks. Updates on the trial of the century. The people of New York versus Norman Osborne. You remember Devil's Breath, how Mayor Norman was indirectly responsible for poisoning the city a couple years back? Well, his lawyers have slowed the march of justice down yet again with more delay. Hey! Are you crashing my fight or am I crashing yours? We're crashing crime, dude! <laughs> But I appreciate the assist. All right. But the next post fight piece is on me.
Genius had a weapons deal going down. Oh, you want something more? Fire's up there! Hope you guys kept your receipts! Give me a break, Spider-Man! Locked on! Right. Oh. Tighter! My favorite! <laughs> That was just bad business all around. A sand crystal? These things are everywhere. Guys, you're kind of getting sand everywhere. You guys should really leave and go somewhere more tropical. Ugh. Probably check out that My crystal now. To follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have ended up at one of Craven's bases. Poor guy didn't know what he was walking into. special episode for you today. Here to dish about all things going on in Harlem recently is the incredible and brilliant Councilwoman Rio Morales. Good to have you back, Rio. Good to be back, Danica. So, we've been seeing reports of an attempted robbery in Harlem? Unfortunately. But the Harlem Cultural Center is home to artifacts from resilient musicians of color. What better way to honor them than to be equally resilient? We'll recover just fine. If there's one thing I love, it's optimism. And I heard Spider-Man might have been involved. What can I say? Art thieves never expect to fake out. Or Spider-Man. You got the flame! Let them go! Move! Get down!
There's an ambulance nearby. I can take you to it. Just swing carefully, please. You're all set. And I hope the worst is over now. You're a good man, Spider-Man. Thank you. <laughs> 